Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I'm going to be doing a haul video. Most everything that I'm showing today is from Ross, but I do have one item from Target, one item from Walmart, and a couple items from Five Below that are fitness related that I will do at the end. I will go ahead and do my regular clothes first, and then I'll go into my fitness apparel, and I'll either include a picture of me wearing the outfit, or I will include some live footage of me showing you the outfit so you can get how it fits. So for reference, I'm going to be sharing you the sizes of these items. This is because I want you to know how these clothes fit my body, how the sizing is. I have worked really, really hard on losing weight and toning up and it's not been a quick fix where I just snapped my finger and took a magic pill and I was suddenly in great shape. I have been working out. I am careful with what I eat as far as I choose healthy whole foods and I've actually been working on a certification so that I can help others. Unfortunately, um, if you want to get into great shape and feel better, it is going to be through diet and exercise. And I love exercising, it makes me feel good. I love the endorphins that comes from it, but you are obviously gonna see the most progress about what you eat. Because I've made this lifestyle change, as I call it, it's not a diet. I'm not on a really crash diet where I'm super low calories and I can't eat carbs and I can't eat this or that. No, I eat all the foods, okay? I do eat treats once in a while. I just make sure that I do it in moderation. Because of all these things, I have lost some weight, which means that I have to buy new clothes because I have found that if you are wearing clothes that don't fit you, whether they are too big or too small, it is not the most flattering to your body. And regardless of what size you are, every woman deserves to feel beautiful. And I feel the best when I have clothes that fit my body correctly, instead of like gaping and hanging or on the other side, if I was gaining weight and I was wearing shirts that were pulling and tugging, that wouldn't be flattering either. So regardless of what your size is, finding something that fits your body is so important. All right, sorry to interrupt, but before we get to all this stuff, I wanna let you guys know that since I filmed this video, I actually went back to Ross in a different area and I found some more things. I'm going to be inserting some of those as well. Like I will do all the fashion stuff together, all the fitness stuff together, but I'll be changing outfits and that's why. So if you're like confused, like what the heck is going on? That's what's going on. So this is gonna be a little bit of a long one. So maybe go grab a snack, get a drink and let's see what I got at Ross. So the first thing I wanna show you is this super cute skirt. This is in a size medium and I love that this had the defined waist with the little tie but that it was a little bit more flowy and I just thought it'd be really nice for spring because it would be more open and more airy. It does have a nice thick material so you don't have to worry about it being see-through and it also is kind of stretchy so it is a little bit forgiving that way. Also it's really flattering for those of you who are a little fuller in the booty and in the hips if you want something that is a little bit more skimming. Um, this is a great choice. The skirt was only $12 and I paired it with this pink top that has little crisscrosses on it because it was something that was form-fitting that I could tuck in so it would show off the belt a little bit. And I just thought the outfit came together really cute and when I wore it to church, I literally had like four people tell me my outfit was cute, which is that's how I know it's a winner because you know, normally no one ever says anything. So you know, somebody's gonna say something that it was a good combination, it worked for my body type. And yeah, I was really excited that I found the skirt for 12 bucks. I mean, can't argue with that. So it's no secret that I love floral, so like basically everything is floral. So if you don't like floral, you probably won't like this all, just keeping it real. So this I also purchased at Ross, and this is a shirt, this is in a size small. And what I liked about this is it has the cute little zipper here, so it gives it some texture and detail. It's a lightweight material, so again, really breathable for summer. And it also has this really cute ruching at the center. So that way it helps to find the waist a little bit, but it's still a little bit flowy. So it's not like super tight suck to you, but it gives you a little bit of shape. All right, I love a good baseball tee. This fabric is so soft. It's like that super soft fabric. I think all these shirts were probably between about 10, less than $15. I don't know all the exact prices, but you know, Ross pricing. So this is in a size small and I love the color of this. And of course I loved the floral detail. This was again long enough for me. I am five foot ten, so I have a hard time getting shirts that are long enough for me. That is very important. So I am not like wearing crop tops. That's not really my style. So this was super cute. All right, this one again, like I said, they're basically all florals. Is also cute, but I love the detailing and that this was a little bit more brighter. So this 
has the really cute detail of the crisscross pattern in the front. And this one is a size medium. This one did fit a little snugger, so I sized up. But again, it's long enough, has the cute bright pattern. It just says spring to me, so I really like this one. All right, so I'm on the mission to find some shorts and some capris. So these are from the women's section and they are from it i guess it's called these are the tiffany shorts i got these in two different lengths they had different inseams and they actually came cuffed so you could cuff them or you could roll them down depending on how short you like your shorts these are a little bit higher rise and in this i am a size four which is not really i think true to my size i think these run big this is a perfect example of this this i found in the junior section these fit me the exact same if not a little tighter and these are size 9 or 29 so i don't understand it these are very cute they've got a little bit of the button fly and then the short zipper they are capri length again i think these came cuffed but you could wear it either way they've got some cute distressing they've got a little bit like booty shapers in them these were, I think, $10. The shorts were $12. And then I got these ones that are also from the women's section. These are also a size four. These are from Jones, New York. And I wasn't a huge fan of like the gold buttons, but overall I needed some black shorts. I liked the Bermuda length on them. I thought they were cute. They checked all the boxes, if you will. And these were $12. Okay, so the first top I probably would have sized down in, but they did not have a small. This was $10. And I love the color. And I feel like it goes really cute with the baby pink stuff that I have already. And it's not a floral, but it's super cute because it has this little like tie in the front. And I figured this would look really cute with just skinny jeans and like boots or even just, you know, tighter shorts. I just liked that it was like kind of flowy in a different like silhouette than the other things that I was getting. And it was a great price and it's like one piece, just throw it on, super comfortable. I really try not to just buy all florals. It's just something that happens to me. This shirt was on clearance, so how could I not buy it for $6.50? The thing I like about this is it had the little cute detailing on the side where it's kind of ruched right here. It's still long enough, has a good little sleeve on it. I thought that was so adorable. And it goes with these shorts. So these are from D Jeans. These are size four. I got these for $10. They're the really cute they're a bermuda short so they're a little longer and i just thought this will be so cute together and then i got a denim skirt i've really been wanting a denim skirt for a little while something that would be great for like those just easy summery days where you just don't want to wear jeans you know and i just thought oh, a skirt would be really cute to kind of mix in there so this one is also from d jeans so this is also in a size four and these what this was $15. All right, and then the last like clothing, non fitness thing I bought was this little, I don't know what to call it. It's not really a kimono, but it's like this cute little lightweight sheer jacket and it has this really cute tie right here and it has the floral, but again, it's a little different. I just layered it over this blue maxi dress that I got from Amazon. I think that was in a haul I did last year. But I love this because it adds some interest and it's really fun for like going out, but it doesn't like add a lot of weight and really make it heavy. And so I just thought it would be perfect. And I mean, honestly, you could even throw this over a bathing suit if you wanted to. Like you could go like super casual to like super fancy. I feel like it's like one of those pieces that's really versatile and it was like 15 bucks and I was like, that is a steal. Okay, so now for a couple home items that I got, I'm going to just insert a picture of what it looks like, but I did end up getting a bed set. So this was a comforter and a couple pillows. This is um, already on my bed. <laughs> so this is, I guess it's cut from Mulberry Street. This was only $30. This one has like the gold detailing and then I picked this one up. This one was $7, but it just really tied in the gold. And I'm still keeping some of my old blue in there because I have the blue curtains. So I'm kind of going for like the dusty rose pink and the blue. 
And I did ask my husband, I said, what do you want? I need to get some new bedding. I feel like ours is getting really worn out. And I said, do you want me to go for something more like what we had? Or do you mind if I go something girly or floral? And he said, I don't care. And so I was like, Ta da it's pink. <laughs> okay, so just keeping it real 100%. <laughs> One of the downsides of losing weight is I did lose a lot of volume in my chest and I actually have lost a few cup sizes, which... So therefore, a lot of my sports bras are not fitting correctly. So I was going to look for a sports bra, was the point. Um, but they had kind of like a rounder where they had kind of stuff like styled together. And so of course I saw this with the pants and I was like, okay, I need to have it all. But this is from Velocity. This bra is so super comfortable. I would just wear this on the daily. I wish they had these in like a million colors. It does have kind of the formed cups and a little bit of the ruching, which makes it really cute. And it has like a good wide band in the back, but it is just like stretchy, but it's like, it still keeps everything where it needs to be. Obviously this is not gonna be compression. So for you larger busted ladies, this is not gonna be enough, but if you're someone who's middle to smaller and you're tired of like sports bras just flattening everything out where you just look like you don't have anything at all, this actually just makes the most of what you've got but still supports you, if you know what I mean, in the best kind of way. So they also had these pants from Velocity. These were a capri length. I think the bra was like $8. These were like less than $15. Look how cute these are. They're floral print. I die. I just thought these are so cute. And when I wore these working out, they stayed in place. They stayed in place really well. They do have a pocket in the front that is a little deeper, and my phone does fit in there. But they don't have a side pocket. Yes. So these do make me look shapely, but they aren't as compression as the Fabletics or my Nikes that I already have. But they do a decent job. And um, for the print and stuff, I would say that. You're gonna be, have to be careful with these and squats. I mean, I wouldn't say they're terrible, but if you're wearing like underwear under these, you're probably gonna be able to see it, just keeping it real. But for me, for working out at home, works out great. And then they had this top, it's not by Velocity, but it was so stinking cute. I thought this is perfect. So I love this because it gets so freaking hot here and I don't always like to go out and run in my sports bra. I actually, I never do that. I uh, always just wear like a tank top or something, but I wanted it to be something a little more breathable. So this is like sheer, do you see? So it's really cute because you get like the purple peekaboo effect, but it's just so lightweight. So it makes it so much more comfortable. And that's so freaking cute. And then look at the back. The back has like a little key or cut out right there. And so you can see like the purple on the bra. So it was too cute to pass up. I was like, okay. Those all go together adorably, and I mean black. That goes with any of my leggings, and it just pulled the whole thing together. So, about a month or so ago, I did a big review of a bunch of workout clothes, so I do have some follow-ups for that. So I did buy some more 90 degree reflex, and you know what? This first pair is a size small. It's really cute, it's black, and it has these little like mesh cutouts. It's a capri length, I think these were $10. Super cute. They go with a lot of things. They do have enough of thick material that these are squat proof. And I really like these. They don't have the side pockets, but they do kind of have a little pocket here in the front. So you could put like a small phone or a key or something in there. So I really like these ones. These ones I love the color of, but I've seen some people saying that they're like, why does everyone like 90 degree reflex? They're so thin. These are a thinner pair, unfortunately. I don't know if these are just the style of these ones. I'm not really sure. This one is also a small, but these ones, I mean, they're fine for working out at home, but they're definitely um, not gonna be squat proof. Like if yeah. um, you had white underwear on underneath them, you would be able to tell. So just throwing that out there that these ones were just thinner for whatever reason. But the color is super cute. I think it was called Jam. These were also $10, they're Capri length. Perfect for working out at home, perfect for like running. So that being said, would I pay the retail price for these $78? No, I would not. But of course I bought them at Raw, so they were the $10 like I said. But just so you're aware, if you do see this brand, just 
check and make sure see how thick they are these ones are nice because they are a little more breathable so like where the thicker pairs are harder when you're really sweating these are a little sweat friendly because they're a little breathable but they're not as thick so it just depends what kind of workouts you're doing if it's arm day hey no big deal if you're squatting you may not want to wear these just putting it out there I'm not really sure who's pricing this stuff at Ross because I feel like this is a good solid brand and a lot of people have been talking about it, but it's been consistently priced super low, which I'm a fan of. If you compared like say Puma or Adidas or something like that or Under Armour, they're all priced like double to triple compared to what these are. And I know those are our more name brand, like more popular name brand, but I still feel like the quality of these tops are really good. These were priced at $44 retail, five bucks five freaking dollars these are thick they're stretchy they're supportive super cute long enough and i got it in this floral pattern and then i got it in this black camo that's so cute mommy is it cute yeah do you like it yeah i said to. i like it too so I know what you're thinking, uh, really Amber, you got workout clothes from Five Below? And I did, and I like some of them, and some of them I don't like quite as much. And I know that they are they are very hit and miss. So I had a friend who went to her local store and like literally found nothing. I have a ton at my store. I don't know why some areas have more than others, but if you have a Five Below near you, you could go ahead and check it out. I think it's worth a look. So they had a bunch of these tops that were a little bit cropped and then they had a little tie on the side right here they had several different patterns i'm sorry for the constant chattering like she's just all over the place i don't know what to say these i only paid 250 for and this one it says in a world of choices i choose me i have another one that's the same style that has the lightning thunderbolts on it and then my personal favorite which looks so cute with my pink yogalicious leggings is the star that are like kind of a holographic star or maybe this is iridescent i don't know for sure not a hollow expert and then i did buy this top that was like a crop top that was really cute but the material is that material that just wrinkles instantly just instantly so it just kind of looks like a wrinkled mess and it did shrink so it's a real crop now <laughs> like when i first got it, it was like a little crop so with like high-waisted leggings it was just like a little bit cropped uh, now it's super cropped because it did shrink, but it does say work it. So if I went back in time, I probably wouldn't purchase this, but you know, live and learn. I definitely do recommend the tank tops. I did get a couple other styles as well. One that said run it. And then a couple months ago, I've got some other styles too. So I definitely think it's worth a look if you've got an exercise department there. And they also do have like um, a foam roller I got there. They have uh, some sets of weights. They just have little odds and ends. They do have bands, but I found that they broke fairly easily. But they have fairly inexpensive workout gear, so if you're just trying to get into it and you don't want to spend a lot, there's that. Okay, so I really love these shorts. In fact, I might get some more pairs. These were $10 at Walmart. These are the Awea brand. I really don't know how to say this. They are very bright, but they're cute because they've got this little spandex underlay but then they have this like lighter layer over it. And I just think they're really cute. They do have an adjustable waist. These are in a size small. So these are in a four, six. The tops are also, sorry, I forgot to mention these ones. This is a medium. I think these are all mediums. Yeah, all of these tops right here were mediums because they're more junior sizings and they seemed smaller. So I, I did get a medium in those. These ones are small. And last but not least, I bought this at Target. I wish I would have bought this in an extra small, but it's still cute the way it is. It's just a little looser fitting. This says stronger than I look. And I love this because I feel like I've had a hard year. And not only have I changed my body, I have had to change my mind, my emotion, my mental health. I've had to become stronger in every essence of the word. So I feel like this is like my mantra, like I am stronger than I look. Like, don't you doubt me. And it's super cute. It's by Champion. I paid like $17 for it, so still not a ton of money, but more than what I usually spend. But it's really nice, like it doesn't look like it's gonna peel off or anything. It washed up really great. Has a really cute little like keyhole back here. And it is more of a loose fitting for a small, so you might need to size down on that if you like them a little more fitted. Otherwise, it'll be perfect. And I buy a lot of workout clothes because when you work in the fitness industry, you don't wanna have to be wearing the same clothes every day. So 
If you guys are interested in what I'm doing for my workouts, what I'm eating, I post that all on my Instagram, amberlynn underscore fit. And I also work with challenge groups. So I take a handful of ladies every month and I put them into a group. We work one-on-one -on -one together. We also can comment, log our food, log our workouts, all that kind of stuff. And I don't actually develop the programs. I know there's lots of controversy over like Instagram people becoming like personal trainers. I'm not a personal trainer. I don't develop these programs. I basically am trained on how to coach people with programs that professionals create. And it's a way to help people more because obviously these professionals don't have time to like help everyone one-on-one. -on -one. And so we're here to help people, to give them that encouragement, someone to be accountable for, someone who can help them along with their journey, someone who's going through the journey as well so you guys can, so we can do it together, that kind of thing. And then obviously all the programs are already designed. So I just help find a program for you, plug you in and help encourage you to stick to it. And it's been super fun. I've really enjoyed it. So if you guys are wondering how I got into such good shape, yes, I have been doing these programs. Yes, they actually work. No, I'm not spending two hours in the gym every day. I'm not, not eating carbs. I'm not starving myself. I eat like a real human. You guys can see it all. I live it all out there on Instagram. So anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you guys have any questions as always, leave them down below and I'll see you guys next time.